This must depend slightly on a field. What I've seen in my field is that it is possible to get a lectureship almost straight out of PhD. Those that I've seen doing that are hitting their heads against the wall within six months and looking for postdocs within a year or two. Um, so if you don't want the every minute of your time is booked with just your lectureship, then get some postdocs. Um, this bit about at some point you're going to have to sell yourself as different from the egg of your boss, do a different postdoc, get some diversity, even if you're then um, a good postdoc that does a project, at least you've done different projects, you've got different skills, you're the only person with that bunch of skills. If you're just somebody who goes all the way through and gets spat out at the end as one of those, then if there's a market for another one of those, then fine. But if you're looking for fellowships, uh, looking for lectureships to start your own lab and be different, then yes, postdocs different places. Uh, I did five institutions. I, yeah. Louise um, and Lorraine, both of you, you, you work in the sort of synthetic biology biotechnology area, which is a very new area of research. What about in that particular field? Is that a space where you're looking for people to have lots of postdoc experience or is it something where people just want to jump straight in into a fellowship? I think the University of Edinburgh has had a big uh, recruitment drive in this area and it's kind of done both. Um, I personally was not competitive enough for a fellowship, or I didn't think I was competitive for a fellowship to go after my PhD. Um, and I got told in my first postdoc that I wasn't competitive enough to go for a fellowship. Um, and, and then I did a second postdoc and I'm, I made myself different. And by that time I'd got an undergraduate in chemistry and worked in biology departments, enzymologist and biochemist, and moved into a new field of synthetic biology, which brings engineering in as well. So I had a group of very different skills. Um, and I organized a conference so that I had excuse to talk to academic people, which I always had a problem talking to people higher than me, um, or who, yeah, professors and PIs and, um, and got my no, myself known for putting myself out there, I guess. Do you have anything to add to that, Lorraine? No. I think marking yourself as different is the bit, and being able to sell yourself at, with that different skill in some way, and, and probably not being frightened to go for it. I'll, I'll do the women in science, but women tend not to, and men tend to. Men will just apply for it and go for it, and women will think, I'm not quite ready yet, and we do that all the way through our career. Um, so I would encourage you to go for it, because even the experience of going for it, you learn a lot for the next time when you get successful.